Hi everyone, welcome to the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom. Today, we're gonna do another science experiment. I'm Miss Sarah. Let's check our schedule. First, we'll review our schedule. Then we'll go over the materials. Then we'll learn some new keywords. We'll do our experiment for our lesson. And then we'll wrap up. We're all done reviewing the schedule. Let's see what materials we need today. Guess what? I have two scientists here to help me today. I have Happy and Hudson. Here's what we need for today's experiment. Water, vegetable oil. What else, Hadley? Food coloring. What else, Hudson? Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer. The last thing we need is a clear bottle. A soda bottle works well, but if you don't have one in your house, you can use any other kind of clear bottle. I have an orange juice bottle. We're all done going over our materials. Let's learn our key words. Let's talk about our key words. Our first word is... Water! Our second word is... We're going to use these two things in our experiment. Our third word is bond. bond. This is the attraction bond. between two molecules. Our next word is density. density. Dense. How much space something takes up in comparison to its mass. Our last word is polarity. This is the way atoms stick to each other. Keywords are yes. Let's do our experiment. Let's get started. I'm ready. Step number one. You're going to pour water into your bottle and you want to fill it up about a quarter of the way up. So you just want to cover the bottom of your bottle just a little bit. One, two, three, four. That's about a quarter of the way up. Step number two. You're gonna open the vegetable oil and you're going to carefully, see I brought this extra tray to catch any spills. You're going to carefully pour Whoa, there's a spill. The vegetable oil into the bottle. Is that lemonade? That is vegetable oil. That looks like lemonade. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. And you're supposed to fill it almost to the top. It just so happens my bottle had the perfect amount. Look here. The water's on the bottom and the oil's on the top. The oil goes all the way up and the water stays down because the oil is less dense than the water. The water is more dense or heavier. That's why it's at the bottom. Step number three. You're going to choose a color. What color should we do? Red. And you're going to add 10 drops of food coloring into your bottle. Let's count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a bonus. And a bonus. And we're going to put the top on and put it back in the box. The food coloring has stopped right where the oil and water come together. It's slowly coming through the oil and mixing with the water to make the water red. Ooh. Step number four. You're going to get your Alka-Seltzer and drop it into your bottle to make the lava lamp. So these are our Alka-Seltzer tablets. 
that our moms and dads are helping us with. We're gonna break it in half. So we have one for now and one for later. And we're going to drop. Not eat. We're not eating it, that's right. Thank you, thank you, Scientist Hudson. Okay, we're gonna drop it in the bottle and watch what happens. Get ready, we're gonna count it down, okay? Okay, we're gonna say five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Let's see what happens. Oh, look at it go! Here it goes! Can Mom, you see it, Hudson? Later. Look at all the bubbles. Are they popping? Yeah. Look, Hadley. <laughs> Whoa. I don't want is it. Is it coming up? Yeah, it's coming up. It's making a gas. And that's why all the bubbles are coming up. Here, we'll do another one. Okay. Count it down. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Basta. Here come more bubbles. Ooh, good. We got it on this side. Whoa! Let's look. The water is still on the bottom and the oil is still on the top. This is because of polarity. That means water stays with water and oil stays with oil. They do not like to mix. When we dropped the tablet, into our bottle, it went to the bottom and started to create a gas. That's when you saw the bubbles of gas pushing the water up to the top. When the gas reached the top, the water dropped back down to stick with the water. Let's watch one more time. Five, four, three, two, two, one. Here it goes. Oh, awesome. Look, there it goes. Fizzy fizzers. It's making a gas and the bubbles are going to the top. And then when the gas is done and gets to the top, it goes all the way back down. To make this a true experiment, we have to ask ourselves a question. What still work if you put the top on? I don't know, Hadley. Let's try. It will work. It will work. Well, look at it go. Look at it go. Bubbles. Look, Hudson, you see all the fizzy bubbles coming up? It looks like a lava lamp. Guess what? You can save your lava lamp. Put the top on, keep it someplace safe, and when you want to reactivate it, take the top off, and add another tablet. <gasps> Whoa! And actually, a really cool trick is to put it by the light. That's when you can really see the bubbles. Fizzing, making gas, blowing all the bubbles up to the top, and then when the gas runs out, they come on back down. Our junior scientists got called into the lab but we're gonna keep going. Wasn't that awesome? Let's do it again and ask ourselves one more question. What happens if we use a smaller bottle? Will the same thing take place? Step number one, fill your bottle about a quarter of the way full with water. There we go. Step number two. Fill the rest of the bottle with vegetable oil. Step number three. Let's do blue this time. We're gonna add 10 drops of food coloring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and then watch what happens. It stays right at the top in between the water and the oil and when it breaks through it's going to turn the water blue. Get ready! Wow! There it went! The blue food coloring came all the way from the top of the bottle, through the oil, and into the water. It has the same density as the water. One cool thing to try is to put a flashlight under your lava lamp. You can use a cell phone that has a flashlight or a regular flashlight. Here we go. Step number four, dropping the Alka-Seltzer tablet in the bottle. Three, two, one. Bubbles are coming up. It's making a gas. Awesome! Look at all those blue bubbles. Check it out. Let's try a second tablet to keep it going. Ooh, it's right above the light. Look. Well, now it's really cool. this later. The last thing we're going to try today is we're going to see what happens if we use a whole tablet instead of a half tablet. Let's watch. Three, two, one. Whoa, it's making big bubbles this time. Awesome! You see those? It's really gassing it up in there. Very cool. We're all done with our lesson. Look, our bottle's still going, but the lesson is finished. Time to wrap up. Let's talk about some of the cool things we learned in today's experiment. We learned about intermolecular polarity. That means that the oil molecules stick with the oil molecules and the water molecules stick with the water molecules. That's why they don't mix. We also learned that water is denser than oil. That's why the water goes to the bottom and the oil goes to the top. Well, we just wrapped up what we learned. All the pieces are on the floor, which means our schedule is finished. We hope you'll share some of the pictures and videos from your experiment on our Facebook page, Easter Seals Serving Chicagoland and Rockford with the hashtag virtual classroom. Remember, new lessons are posted every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. See you soon for another science experiment with Miss Sarah. Happy learning!